Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at modeling a twisted rope. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm going to drag that out. And this cylinder, I'm going to look at the, uh, po the polycylinder tab here, <clears throat> and I'm going to remove the cap. So, uh, I'm going to make it a 0 instead of a 1 here. I'm going to remove the subdivisions on that and press enter. And you can see now uh, there are no divisions on the cap. This is what I wanted. I'm then going to go to face mode. So holding down right click and go to face mode here. And I'm going to drag select all of the faces except for this bottom face. And I'm going to press delete. All right. So next I'm going to um, go to object mode. And I'm going to duplicate this. So command D will move this over and I'm gonna I'm gonna use my top view so I'm gonna space bar up and look at the top view here and I'm gonna get that nice and close but not touching and then I'm gonna take the two of these now so drag selecting a big box on them and command D and I'll move these over as well so they're close but not touching I'm then gonna take all of them and I want to combine them so we're gonna go to mesh combine and just to be sure, I want to make sure my gizmo is centered. So while it's still selected, I'm going to go to Modify Center Pivot. Okay. I'll come back to this view here. <clears throat> and I will uh, begin to make the curve that I want this to uh, move along. But first, let's scale this down. So I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller. Okay. And I also want it to be in the center of the origin point. Now the way you do that is I'm going to get my move gizmo and I'm going to grab from the center but hold X as you do that. So when I hold X you can see it will snap along the grid. So by holding X and grabbing the center of the gizmo I can snap it right to the middle of the origin point. Alright, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get to the front view. It's front or side, doesn't matter. Maybe we'll just go to the side view here. And let's create a curve. So I'm going to go to Create Curve Tools. And I happen to like the EP Curve Tool, but you can use any of these. The EP Curve Tool. And it was right here. I know that it's in the origin point. This is where I moved it. So that's the crosshair of where these two, the X and the Z meet. And here I go. I'm going to start with my first point here. And I'm going to just spread out my points. And create kind of a curve like that. I'll press return. All right. If you were just doing like a, a rope with two posts or a few posts, I think you would just do kind of just a curve like this. That way you can just make each of these separate once we make it, we could duplicate it, but this would be just enough to make a division between like a, um, a, a roped off air, or area. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my perspective view, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode. So holding down right click on the um, cylinders here, I'm going to go to edge. And I'm, oh, excuse me, I'm going to go to face mode. I'm going to face mode. And I'm going to click and hold shift on all four of these faces just like that. And then I'm going to hold shift and click on the spline. So when you do it correctly, it should look something like this. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come up to edit mesh, extrude. And when you extrude, it's going to look something like this. Okay. So it wants to follow along the curve, but it doesn't have enough subdivisions. So right here, this comes up, this little thing here, but you can also look um, in this area as well under the poly extrude face. Uh, and maybe I'll just do that. So here I can raise up the amount of divisions. And it looks like I'm going to be, need a little bit more, so maybe 100. I'll try that. That looks good so far. Maybe I'll go 150. Okay. And 
there's um, a twist that we want to find. Now, if we're not seeing the twist, we might need to, let me just see if it's in, up. Oh, so if I drop down poly extrude curve attributes, you can drop down and here's twist. So the twisting actually takes a, a large number. So you can kind of see it started to twist this, but it, it really needs, and that's 180. So we're going to need a larger um, number. You can type it manually. So let's start with 1000 and press enter. And you can see what's happening. I think I'm going to go with 2000. All right, there. If we can see what 3000 does, kind of um, distorts it a bit. So I don't know, maybe 2500. I'm going to keep it at 2000. All right, and let's see. I think. You, I'm going to move this, just move it over here, and the spline can always be changed. So by holding down right click, you can go to control vertex, control vertex on the line, and you can see we have these pink dots. And what I can do is I can still move these around if I wanted to edit the curve. This would be textured. Uh, maybe an Arnold's surface, <clears throat> and that's it. Now, if it's turning up black like this, I, I could light it from both sides, two-sided lighting. So that's under lighting, two-sided lighting. It might be another way in the surfaces. I'm just not familiar with it, but uh, I know that's not the correct way, but that does work. Uh, so there, now, you can see I can make my um, red rope. All right, so good luck and give it a try.